involved in the Russia probe. Do you want him to... That's up to him. Do you want him to rein in Robert Mueller? What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. Over the course of Okay, just sit down, please. Well, when you, when you report fake... President, Come on. that this caravan was an invasion. As you know, I, Mr. President, I consider it to be an invasion. As you know, Mr. President, the caravan was not an invasion. It's a it's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me that. I appreciate why why did you why did you characterize it as such? Uh, because and, I consider it an invasion. You and I have a difference of opinion. But do you think that you demonized immigrants? In not this election no, not to try I to want keep them I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. You know, they have to come in, Jim, through a process. I want it to be a process. And I want people to come in, and we need the people. Your you know, campaign, wait, your campaign. Wait, wait, you know why we need the people, don't you? Because we have hundreds of companies moving in. We need the people. They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of you know miles what? away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, miles you know what? Away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly. Uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let me would be ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, President, I, well, that's I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Excuse me. That's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if I may ask, on, on the Russia investigation. Are you concerned that, that you may have I'm not concerned about anything with you the may Russian have investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, that's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President, I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. I, I think that's unfair. You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. And the way you treat other people are horrible. You shouldn't treat people that way. Go ahead. In, in, go in ahead, Jim, Peter, go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts his Well, I'm not a big fan of, of yours either, so I you understand. Know, to be honest. So, right. let me, so let me ask you a question if I can. You repeatedly you said. Are, you are the best. Mr. President, you repeatedly, oh, over the course okay, of. Okay, just sit down, please. Well, when you, when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Mr. President, over the course, over the course of the last several days of the campaign, sir. Sir, at the end of the campaign, you repeatedly said that Americans need to fear Democrats. You said it would unleash a wave of violent crime that endangers families everywhere. Why are you because pitting very Americans? Weak on crime. Why Excuse are you pitting? Why Excuse are you pitting Americans Peter. against one another, sir? Peter, what are you trying to be him? No, Peter, I'm just asking the just, question. Let me just tell you. Very simple. Because they're very weak on crime. Um, on the campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also saying that the president. I don't know why you'd that say that. It's such a racist question. There are some people that say that no. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because of your rhetoric. That. I don't what do you that. make of that? I, let me tell you, it's a racist question. And Mr. Uh, president, I, I love ask, it. You know what the word is? I love our country. I do. You call, you have nationalists, you have globalists. I also love the world. And I don't mind helping the world, but we have to straighten out our country first. We have a lot of problems. And this Excuse me, but to say that, what you said, is so insulting to me. It's a very terrible thing that you said. Well, I'll give you voter, I, I will give you voter suppression. You just have to sit down, please. Sit down. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I'll give you voter suppression. Take a look at the CNN polls, how inaccurate they were. That's called voter suppression. Go Thank ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm not, I'm not responding. I'm responding to, excuse me, I'm not responding to you. I'm talking to this gentleman. Will you please sit down? Would, excuse me, excuse me, would you please sit down? Now, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. Now that the, uh, now that the House of Representatives Very hostile, has uh, it's such a hostile media. It's so sad. You ask me about, no, you rudely interrupted him. You rudely interrupted him. Go ahead. What well, was an in incorrect report? When was the last time you've heard from him? I don't want to say. Since yeah. you pointed to me, uh, just a quick question about that. So you haven't made any contact, though, just to make sure. With who? The North Koreans. I don't want to say. I, I won't say that. Okay. Uh, we so have a good relationship with North Korea. As good as you can have. I mean, we have a good relationship with North Korea. Uh, I have a good relationship with Kim Jong-un, and I hope he's okay. And somebody would say, oh, that's terrible. No, it's not terrible. I hope he's okay. And I think it was a fake report done by CNN. So 
two questions. What do you have? Go ahead. No, that's I, enough. Go ahead. Can I ask? But that wasn't you know, my question. The problem is you don't write the truth. So you know, as far as I'm concerned, I want to go. I want to go to the next. Can question. I ask you a question about? Rick no, not CNN, please. Go ahead. The White House has not you don't, responded to I told you. CNN is fake news. Don't talk to me. Go ahead, please. But he says he was retaliated against, and that's why he was removed from his job. Do you have a response to that? Okay, next question. Mr. President, you, I have two questions, one on behalf of a colleague who's not here because of social distancing. Uh, just ask one, please. First one, could you talk about your decision-making process on with Over the governor of Georgia? You yesterday the controversy? Said, well, you know, you, no. You said yesterday that you told the governor of Georgia you I were did. concerned. I had a good about, talk with the governor of Georgia. Earlier in the week you spoke and you did not convey this kind of message. Was there a change uh, in your I did convey the message. I didn't like the fact that he's leaving certain things. Tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for feel, rumors. I'm the president and you're fake news. And you know what I'll say to you? I'll say very nicely, I know you well. I know you well because I know the guy. I see what he writes. He's a total faker. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's just a suggestion from a brilliant lab by a very, very smart, perhaps brilliant man. He's talking about sun, he's talking about heat, and you see the numbers. So that's it, that's all I have. I'm just here to present talent. I'm here to present ideas, because we want ideas to get rid of this thing. And if heat is good, and if sunlight is good, that's a great thing as far as I'm concerned. And the virus was spreading like wildfire through the month of February instead of holding rallies with thousands of people. Why did you wait so long who you to with? warn who, them? Who you with? And why did you yeah. uh, not have social distancing until March 16th? Who you with? I'm Weijia Jang with CBS News. So, if you look at what I did in terms of cutting off or banning China from coming in. Chinese nationals. But by the way, not Americans who are also nice coming from easy. China. Nice and easy. Just relax. We cut it off. People were amazed. These gentlemen, everybody was amazed that I did it. We were very early. Oh, I'm, I'm the president. And you know what I just did? So and you know what I just did? And by the way, when you issued the ban, the virus was already here. Okay, and you know how many people, when I issued the ban, how many cases of virus were in the United States when I issued the ban? Do you know the number? There was. There no, no, was how many already. cases? Remember, I said one person. How many cases were here when I issued the ban? But Tell did me. you know? No, no, no. You have to do your research. How many? I did my research. On the 23rd of March, you said you knew this was going to be a pandemic. Can I tell you what? Well I did know it. I did know it. All I have to do is look. So you knew All, anybody knew it. Just, are you ready? How many cases were in the United States when I did my ban? How many people had died in the United States? So do you acknowledge that you didn't think Keep your voice down, please. Spread? Keep your voice down. Did you not How many? How spread? many? How many cases were in the United States? I did a ban where I'm closing up the entire country. How many people died? And that's a fair point. How many people died in the United States? And yet I closed up the country, and I believe there were no deaths, zero deaths at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there. And you should say thank you very much for good judgment. So when you say, why didn't you this? Every Democrat thought I made a mistake when I did it. I saved tens of thousands, maybe hundreds well, of thousands of lives that by putting time that you bought. The argument is that you bought yourself some time. You didn't use it to prepare hospitals. You didn't use it to ramp up testing. Right you're now, so, you're so, you're so disgraceful. It's so disgraceful the way you say that. Let, let me just, listen, dead. I just this went over it. Or this ramp supposed to make people I just went over it. In an unprecedented crisis. Nobody thought we should do it. And when I did it. But what did you do with the time that you bought? You know the we month did? of February. That, you know that what we did? Gap. What do you do? What do you do when you have no case in the whole United States? You had cases when in you, you excuse me, you reported it. Zero cases, zero deaths on January seventeenth. January, February, the entire January. I said in January. Your video has a complete gap. On month January thirty. What did your administration do in February with the time that your travel ban bought A lot. You? What? A lot. And in fact, we'll give you a list. What we did, in fact, part of it was up there. It we did a lot. Did look, look. You know you're a fake. You know that your whole network, the way you cover it, is fake. And most of you, and not all of you, but the people are wise to you. That's why you have a lower, a lower approval rating than you've ever had before, times probably three. 
And when you ask me that question, let me ask you this. Why didn't Biden, why didn't, why did Biden apologize? Why did he write a letter of apology? No, that's very important. Why did the Democrats think that I acted too quickly? You know why? Because they really thought that I acted too quickly. We have done a great job. Now, I could have, I could have kept it open. And I could have done what some countries are doing. They're getting beat up pretty badly. I could have kept it open. I thought of keeping it open because nobody's ever heard of closing down a country, let alone the United States of America. But if I would have done that, we would have had hundreds of thousands of people that would right now be dead. We've done this right. And we, we really, we really have done this right. The problem is the press. Yeah, here we go. Mr. President, uh, 22, more than 22 million Americans are currently unemployed yeah. as a result of this. Uh, today we hit the grim milestone of more than 40,000 Americans uh, now having died from the coronavirus. Um, can you explain then why you come out here and you are reading clips and, and, uh, and showing clips of praise for you and for your administration? Is this really the time for self-congratulations? Well, I, I will tell you this. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm standing up for the men and women that have done such an incredible job. Not for me, for the men and women. The clips that you played and, and what you read earlier was praising you and your well, administration. All I played today was Why Governor Cuomo to do that, sir? saying very positive things about the job the federal government has done. And those people, and those, have now died. Uh, those people have been just absolutely excoriated by some of the fake news, like you, your CNN, your fake news. And let me just tell you, they were excoriated by people like you that don't know any better because you don't have the brains you were born with. You should be praising the people that have done a good job, not doing what you do, even that question. So just so you understand, is, if we now, didn't so do a job- why now? Not why are you doing it, I'll tell it, you why, why now? now. Are you ready? Because these people are right now in hospitals. It's dangerous. It's going to a battlefield. And I want these people, I want you, I want you in the, it's, about it's the all office. about that. It's, it's about not about me, no, nothing's about me. Uh, you, look, 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 you're never going to treat me fairly, many of you. And I understand that. I, I don't even know, I got here with the worst, most unfair press treatment, they say, in the history of the United States for a president.